This black bean salad is perfect for your next barbecue or family get together. I'm Justin from Cooking with Coit. I specialize in clean comfort cooking. And remember, if you love this recipe, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let's get started. Let's first go over all the ingredients you need to make this recipe. Black beans, corn, cilantro, red onion, bell pepper, limes, garlic, cherry tomatoes, cumin, chili powder, olive oil, and salt and pepper. Uh, guys, I am so excited to show you this recipe today. This is really such a perfect salad for a you know family barbecue, a really big get together. This is gonna be quite a big portion that I'm gonna show you. So if you wanna slim down the portion, you could easily just cut everything in half. First thing we're gonna do is to make our dressing. So we're gonna start with a quarter cup of lime juice. I'm gonna do something that I've never done before uh, to measure the lime juice, just cause it is good to be accurate with this measurement. I'm just gonna toss my little measuring cup inside my bowl. And just so you guys know, a quarter cup of lime juice for around this size of a lime is gonna be about one and a half limes. So all we're gonna do is take this lime juice and put it into a small mixing bowl. And one thing I wanna remind everybody is that I post the full instructions and ingredients to all of my recipes on my site. You can find the link to this recipe in the description of the video below. Next, we're gonna add a third of a cup of olive oil. And now we're gonna move on to our spices. Let's add a half a teaspoon of chili powder, followed by a half a teaspoon of cumin. Now I find that cumin tends to be a pretty strong flavor in any recipe, but you're gonna absolutely love this cumin in this dressing for this black bean salad, it is so good. Now we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt, followed by a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And now all you need to do is give this a quick whisk. Whenever I'm making a salad recipe, I find that making the dressing first is a really good idea because it's gonna give the dressing some time to sit and marinate in all the flavors and juices that you're putting in there, and it's just gonna make the dressing better. And once you've given this a quick whisk, you can just set this aside as we work on the other ingredients to the salad. Next, we're gonna work on dicing up our bell pepper. The way that I cut a bell pepper is a little specific. So typically people cut a bell pepper like this. I really like to flip it upside down because this gives me a really good idea of how to section off the bell pepper as I'm cutting it. I just pick one section first. And I'm going to cut straight down just like this. And then after the first cut is made, it's very easy to cut the rest of the bell pepper and avoid cutting a lot of the seeds and getting a lot of seeds in these bell pepper pieces, which honestly isn't that big of a deal, but it's just kind of annoying the more you do it. So this technique is really good for minimizing the seeds that go into the uh, rest of the cuts. So just work your way around the bell pepper, just like this. And then I also like to use the end of the bell pepper, which is really easy. And then what you're gonna be left with is a fairly intact like stem of the bell pepper with all the seeds. And now we're just gonna give this a quick dice. One other tip that I have for you guys is that I sometimes forget this even myself, but it's best when you're cutting a bell pepper to cut it from the inside out. So to flip the skin uh, on the bottom side here and just to cut from the inside, just like this. This is going to give your knife more of the vegetable to grab onto, whereas the outside can be a little bit slippery and a little dangerous. Now we're gonna add this bell pepper to our large mixing bowl. Now we're gonna move on to uh, having our cherry tomatoes. My recipe calls for one cup of halved cherry tomatoes. You can also quarter these cherry tomatoes if you don't like a large tomato bite, which I really don't, so I'm gonna quarter these right now. Now let's add these cherry tomatoes into our big mixing bowl. Next, we're gonna dice up one cup of red onion. And of course, if you feel like you're really sensitive to onion or you don't really like onion at all, you can totally leave it out. Another substitution that I like, if you don't really love onion, this is still in the onion family, is a shallot. It's got a little bit of a sort of lighter flavor. I love red onion, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick to the recipe and dice up one cup. Now we're gonna do the same as we did before and just add this red onion into our big mixing bowl. Now we're gonna add one cup of corn. Now I'm using frozen corn. I've just let it sit out so it's defrosted a little bit. You can of course use fresh corn. That's always better than frozen, I think. But I love frozen corn because it's always in the freezer and ready for me when I need it. So let's toss this into our big mixing bowl. And it's okay if it's still a little frozen when you add it because this is a cold salad and it doesn't really matter. It's gonna defrost over time anyway, so it's all good. Now I'm gonna chop up a third of a cup of fresh cilantro. All I'm gonna do really is just cut off the largest part of the stem. I'm gonna use the more thinner part towards the end. And you can just give this a rough chop. You don't have to be perfect about it. Now we're gonna add this cilantro into the mixing bowl as well. 
Next, we need to add our black beans. I'm using canned black beans, which is totally fine. I don't have a sink on camera, so I'm gonna go off camera, rinse and drain these, and then bring them back. All right, guys, we've got our black beans drained and rinsed. Let's add them to our mixing bowl. Next, we're gonna be adding our fresh garlic. You might be thinking to yourself, it's very strange that we're gonna be adding fresh garlic straight into this salad. And it is a little strange to be honest, but it really works very well. But what I will say is I would not mince up the garlic on its own. We want to avoid getting a big piece of fresh garlic on your fork in one of your bites. So what I like to do is to microplane my garlic and that's going to emulsify it so much and basically infuse the essence of the garlic without any big pieces. So just grab out your microplane and your garlic and just get at it. It's gonna take a little while. Microplaning is not a very fast thing. And you do have to be careful when you get to the end of each piece of garlic that you don't microplane your finger, which I've done many times. So what I like to do is once I get to the end here, when I've got just a very small piece like that, I like to just discard it because otherwise I'm probably just gonna cut my finger. And this is two cloves of microplaned garlic. Now the last ingredient we're gonna add into the salad is one teaspoon of lime zest. So keep your microplane out and let's just add the zest straight into the bowl. Now, as you can see, I'm not really measuring very well and that's okay. I think I have a pretty good idea that one teaspoon is gonna be about a half of this lime. If you're worried about it, totally measure, but I feel like with lime zest, a little extra is definitely not gonna kill you. And that should be good. Now that we've got all of that prep out of the way, all you have to do next is Get out your salad dressing that we set aside from earlier and just give it a quick whisk if it's separated a little bit. And then all we're gonna do is to add it into our salad. Grab out your salad tongs and give this a quick mix. One thing that I love about the salad is just how beautiful it looks. It's got such a great range of color. And you know, one thing I've always heard is that you eat with your eyes and that's really the case here. This black bean salad looks so incredible. I cannot wait to give it a try. But before I do, if you love this recipe and you wanna see more just like it, check out my salad recipes playlist. Okay, let's give it a try. This black bean salad is so incredibly tasty. You guys are gonna love the dressing and all the fresh veggies in it. And it's an extra bonus that is completely meat-free and dairy-free. Guys, you've gotta give this a try. I know you're gonna love it. See you in the next video.